You ready? Don't film it. I'll send you the link. No, I'm filming it. It's Please. too bad. I will post Please. the slides. It's too bad. <laughs> it's too late. Okay. Hello. Today I'll be talking to you about Jason Sudeikis. Also known as America's Dad. Yeah. This will be an informative guide to the range of dad roles that he plays for <laughs> Americans all over the country. Also, <laughs> oh, pay attention, no. there's a quiz at the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the first role, fishing dad. Mm. As you can see, he's comfortable on a boat in a variety of situations. <laughs> and he's got the wardrobe down. This is just one of many. <laughs> this is him making <laughs> up this in your son face. Does that not scream dad to you? <laughs> As you can tell, this is just an excuse for me to look up pictures of Jesus and Vegas in a variety of situations. Gay rights dad. <laughs> My favorite dad of them all. There he is at Kids Choice Awards and Jimmy Fallon sporting the same sweater. <laughs> the left photo is like three pixels. <laughs> the right photo is so clear. The middle one was so good. It's like straight <laughs> off of NBC's website. Anyways, as you can see, he's a man for the people. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he does not like the pizza Pringles. Okay. He's also Coach Dad. As we all know, I love Ted Lasso. Coach Dad, number one. Um, you know, look at He's so happy. Anyways. Um. <laughs> This is him being mad <laughs> that you got an F in one of your classes. <laughs> He's just disappointed in you, son. Anyway, <laughs> so well so far. <laughs> um, this is him wearing the same hat and ver variations on the same hat all over the place. He loves this little Casey hat. He has a plush very dad. Oh, question from the audience! Absolutely! What does Casey stand for? Best year? I don't know. I'm gonna do any research. <laughs> like Jason Sudeikis hat and I like <laughs> anyways he's also very much an I'm not like other dad's dad he's got like tie-dye shirt and a mustache he wore his sneakers to wow <laughs> wow right he had long hair and damn daddy okay <laughs> <laughs> now here we arrived at British dad God, last. Oh, shut the fuck up this is my fucking presentation <laughs> wasn't about like a show or something <laughs> that I could find. and it's very very dad being polite and grateful will make more people inclined to help you and if people are willing to help you you may accidentally get something you want oh thanks dad oh nobody needed to hear that right now <laughs> okay anyways good time <laughs> wait what wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wait, wait. Wait. No, type that in? <laughs> I'm gonna go to it, and then you're gonna put, type the code okay. in. Have you never done a Kahoot, you idiot? Dude. Shut the hell up! Don't call me an idiot. Sorry, I can't play. I'm recording. Um, okay, that's unacceptable. <laughs> Who's James C? Oh my God, James Corden is in the game! Wow! Holy shit! <laughs> really <laughs> find out. I know who it is. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that hard. <laughs> I've been considering these like six there's nobody. There's nobody doing this. <laughs> Got him. All right, is that everybody that wants to play? It? Is there three of us? Yes. yes. I have some my head. <laughs> what? Is, Who the fuck? <laughs> you have failed class. Oh, 
that's a multi-tasker. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, he's just painting. Okay. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, is this a trick question? He just reused a picture. <laughs> Correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Note that James Corden is in the room. <laughs> from me making my presentation in the room just rubbed off on you. Yeah. Anyways, I hope you all learned something today. Um, so, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna get more food. Uh, hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> hello, uh, hello, um, uh, I'm a little nervous. Hello, everyone. Um, my name is James Cor Jackson Joseph, sorry. Um, and I'm presenting a, um, um, a presentation where I am casting James Corden in every music mu movie musical. Um, and by that I mean I, I looked through um, the musicals that I have downloaded and I picked a character that James Corden would be in, the, in that movie musical. Thank you. <laughs> so we got some musical fans in the audience. <laughs> Sorry, besties. <laughs> um, so first up we have um, in Wicked. He, he would be Fiero. Um, for those who don't know, Fiero is like um, the one male character in the show, <laughs> JK. Um, but he's like the love interest. And I know that if James Corden got his shriveled hands <laughs> on the role, he would be so happy. Um, up next is Hamilton. Oh my God. And I think he would be Samuel Suvery. <laughs> Just fuck that guy. So annoying. I hate him, so I thought of James Corden. Excuse you, Samuel Slander. Suvery is in the best And he's British, in it. He's British, <laughs> in it. Um, next up is Dear Evan Hansen. Do of course Dear Evan Hansen? Um, cause I think just watching him would be so fucking entertaining. Him like being like, I learned to slam on the brake before I even turn the key, before I make the mistake. It'd be funny. So yeah. Also, I want to see him fall out of a tree. Uh, next up is Be More Chill. He would be the squip because, um, because in in the show the squip is supposed to be Keanu Reeves, and I think he would just be like, "No, it's James Corden actually," um, and I know that he wants to kill Eminem, so of course he would be the squip. Next up is Heather's, <laughs> so he'd be Heather Chandler because I know that he has a lot of. I'm so sorry, No, it's all right. Take a seat. I got I got a lot of snacks. There's a table. Hey, baby. Um, so much food. As I was saying before I was interrupted, um, <laughs> if James Corden was cast in the movie musical of Heathers, he would be Heather Chandler because um, he, he, he um, I think he would think that he's hot in that outfit <laughs> and we would not. I hate James Corden if this isn't obvious. Um, and this is the Heather that dies, spoiler alert, so. Yes. Amazing. Going off James um, next up is the Great Comet. He'd be <laughs> Anatole because um, Anatole is supposed to be like this hot, hot, hot player, and I know that he has like power with the producers, and like he's like watched them kill people before, so that's why he's in these movie musicals. That he would so land true. this great role. Also, I'd love to see him try and land the because he's a terrible singer. Um, next up is Frozen. He'd be Elsa. <laughs> Um, cause I think, um, he should let it go, and by let it go, I mean let go of his career, because, uh, <laughs> not fair, I don't have any more. Oh yeah, I'm in Mean Girls. <laughs> we can do no. Um, yeah. I don't have to add anything about that. 
um, in Six the Musical, he'd be Catherine of Aragon because okay. uh, I, I think this is the most annoying of the Catherines. Sorry, besties! Um, and yeah, also, <laughs> RJ be taking notes. This is one of the musicals that you're going to watch, so be excited. This one? Yeah. Um, oh. In Beetlejuice, oh he would um, be Beetlejuice because <laughs> I, yet again, want to see him die. Yeah, he's so true. Take. Yeah, and like, I feel like he would be into um, little girls. Um, and then in falsettos he'd be Marvin, just fuck Marvin. All my homies hate Marvin. Marvin's terrible. Also gay. Gay. In Legally Blonde, he'd be Elle Woods. Um, because he's blonde. And, um, I would, I would like to, I'd like to see him perform in this. I think it would be very entertaining. And thank you for watching. <laughs> question in the audience. Are you okay? No. Do you see this photo of James Bond? <laughs> so scary. I thought James Bond was in my door. I got a little bit nervous. Thank you for watching. Wow. So, really my presentation, like every time somebody bakes macarons on the Great British Bake Off, and the level of anger I feel towards that person, as you do. So, a little cat course on macarons, because I've made these for so many fucking hours. I need to share all my anger. So, macarons mainly take like two and a half hours to make. Very difficult. A million things can go wrong. Oven temperature can affect everything. They can crack, they cannot rise, they cannot have feet. Sometimes they spread too much. So many things can go wrong. This will all become clear as I say my anger towards all these great British Bake Off people. So, first off, first off. <laughs> this is, so this is like level one, you know? So like, he makes macarons for the showstoppers. Like, you know, showstopper, you gotta like pull out all the stops. So I get it, I get it. They actually do look pretty good. They're not like wobbly. They're not like, they, they look pretty good. And it's not super over the top. So that's a solid okay on my anger scale. Another okay. So it improves the design because the rest of the design looks like shit. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> They're actually the focus of the whole design, which is like major props, because like that's where your eye goes first. And he did have enough time to finish his original design and do the macrons. And then last on our OK scale. So there again, the main focus of the design. The colors actually go really well with like the outside box that he was making and they do look very good. There's a filling and they're completely ready to go. Now we move on to two. <laughs> these are the people who bother me. So these look good, you know, they're made very well. Time to dry. The red color is fun. It does not improve the fucking design. Like, <laughs> no, what? Also, he clearly did not have enough time because this design, he just like put them in a loop around them. Then another one, very pretty design. I like the overall design. The background doesn't really add anything to it. So like, why, you know, why, why are you going to go through all this extra effort when you already are running out of time? And they could have just spent more time on the overall design rather than making macarons. Now to get to three, <laughs> the annoyed. So, it's French week. <laughs> so at this point in the show, they were doing French week. So, you know, you're going to make French macarons because that's part of the title. They do look really good. Good feet on them. They have a good rise. The filling is nicely sandwiched. Um, but like, why are you wasting time making macarons when they had to make like four other desserts? Like, mm, bestie. Okay. Excuse me? Yeah. Um, there are like some really uneducated people in the front row who don't know what feet are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the feet of a macaron is like when it bakes, it rises. The, the it, rim, okay. Yeah, it yeah. Works. They're called feet. I was like giggling about the feet, and I was like, "Y'all are so stupid." Okay, now we're at four, which is four, which is angry. 
This man has to make a fucking trifle. This man, all he has to do is make a trifle. But there has to be like the layers, Trifles? otherwise he'll get. Shut up. <laughs> otherwise he'll get docked. So, Bestie, if you have to make a trifle in like 30 minutes, why are you making macarons that don't get filled? They're just sitting on top of the trifle. And they really don't like improve the overall design. And those are just vanilla, so there's not really a lot of flavor that you're adding through them. <laughs> and then finally, furious. Oh, wait, because this look looks like so that. bad. <laughs> no, look, look at this. They are lopsided. There is no feet to them. They have cracks all over the top of them. The other desserts aren't decorated at all. Like, what is this? Time management on the Great British Bake Off. Come on. It's like rule one, everyone. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. I have a question. Can yeah. you say the name of the dessert again? Macarons. How do you feel about people saying macaroons? Well, that's, that's a different dessert. Oh, so there's macarons, so like French macarons versus like macarons, which are like coconut, and usually they have like <laughs> chocolate on the bottom, but they're made in a very different way, but they do share the same name. And not to be confused with the French president, Macron. <laughs> <laughs> very important. Oh, uh, yeah. I ordered that, and then I got a president, and I was like... And you're like, what the <laughs> fuck is what? this? What? Is, is that President Emmanuel Macron that they just pulled out the kitchen? Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed <laughs> the president. So Anyways, so he said, what's up? Welcome to Furry Time, presented by yours truly, uh, by the very funny, sexy, intelligent, and perfect Lily. Yeah, okay? yeah, that, that checks out. Yeah, okay, so That's what's the funny. definition of a furry? <laughs> A furry is an enthusiast for animal characters with human characteristics, okay? In particular, a person who dresses up in a costume <laughs> has such a character or uses one as an avatar online. Mm. Right? So we have the types of furries. So we have, we got dragons. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then we have felines. So it can be, it can be a cat, a lion, a tiger, any type of cat you want. Canines. This is the most typical one. We have, we have Sniffy. <laughs> we have domestic dogs, wolves, foxes, you know. Then we got the featheries. These can be birds, typically like owls. I love seeing a toucan. A toucan's a good one. And pigeons. Scalies. We have a fan favorite. Wait, would, do dragons <laughs> fall into scalies? Or is no, it no, no. Oh, got it. <laughs> They, who is it? We'll get there. Okay. <laughs> so, so we, uh, <laughs> class, come on. So we got lizards, snakes, etc. You know, and then we have like mythical slash hybrids. So like, if you're the type of person to be like, oh, I like cats, I like rabbits, I'm gonna be a cabbit. Those exist. Okay. That's off, I guess. They're cute. So, <laughs> in basic terms, we got a fursuit. So these are custom-made animal costumes owned. You have and, a question in the audience. Yes. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> That's not a question. Put your hand down. <laughs> so, we got custom made animal costumes owned and worn by furries. Furries in is in italics because furries are scary. Mm -hmm. So, the average <laughs> price of a fursuit is. No! $1,000 to $10,000. That's just the oh average. My God. Yes. How much did you spend on yours? Oh, $2,500. So, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry. You got real scared. I was like, no, I'm gonna have to go. So you can't get a decent fursuit for under a grand. Okay? Oh really? Watch this. <laughs> Let me make it in the art studio real quick. Yes. So DIY. Fursuit. Now the most project. <laughs> class, please. The most expensive one I've seen in my own research has been like 500k. They can get expensive. So a fursona. Huh? Furry themed avatar, right? And it is used to represent themselves in their given fandom, often being an original character, an OC, if you would. However, you can also buy them off of people. So here in the corner, we have Marigold. Right? Cost Marigold. Hot. Found them on Google. <laughs> Love it. So why do we hate furries? Exhibit A. Oh. <laughs> oh. No! Oh. Uh, Rainforest 2015. We'll get into that. They're gross. They're just gross. And then exhibit B. 
Uh, I'm gonna let you guys sit with that for a second. I, I wish you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Take, it <laughs> Take it in. Take it in. Okay, that's a word. So rain first. Ready? Ready? Drum roll. <laughs> All right. So rain first. Held in 2015, September 24th through the 27th in Seattle, Washington. 2,700 plus attendees. Mm. Why do we remember this? <laughs> there's a very, there's good reason, okay? It's like 9-11. Why, <laughs> why don't we remember it? Never forget. Um, uh, so, this was not a harmless event. There was hotel property damage of $100,000. There were hospitalizations. There were multiple police visits. Okay? Furries can be ruthless. <laughs> so, by force, they had to switch venues for Rainforest 2016, which is an event that has yet to happen. Because they were at the Hilton in Washington, and the Hilton hates them. So they called around to all of the hotels on the West Coast, and they cannot book a single venue ever again. So we must not forget our history, or else we're doomed to repeat it. <laughs> so true. Right? So true. Right. right. So, key raid for events. So the chairman, the people who walked around running the event, not only were they in suits 24-7, they were also in soiled diapers. Hi. Yeah. Um, another key event is the first suit parade with over 500 participants. Wow. Nice. And of course, circling back to the property damage, there were clogged hot tubs where furries would go up to their hotel and grab their towels and just flood everything. Hmm. Yeah. On purpose? Yep. So going off of that, flooded bathrooms, they would also like pull the drains up in their bathtubs and sinks and just leave the water running. Maybe that's why our bathrooms suck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, oh um, no. They're already here. I count this as damage. <laughs> the mental trauma of everyone who had to witness this event. Mm -hmm. Including us. I'm sorry. Persona time. Time for everyone to take the test. Yeah. Well, how do we take Where, it I'm going to send the link. Don't uh, worry. To the Badger group? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everyone gets it out of context. <laughs> and everyone will be participating. No. Yeah. Mandatory. It's mandatory fun. It is. No. <laughs> it's mandatory. It is I learned so much about myself. It is 11 questions. It is not long. Okay, I personally okay. took it earlier and I got a goose. <laughs> so I'm excited to see <sighs> how this will go. What's that mean? I, I'm a goose. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I couldn't tell you. But... I'm very excited. AJ, are you going to take it? I'm sorry. But for some are important. Yeah, I'm filming. I can't. Didn't do the cookie. <laughs> Audrey R just says, oh my. <laughs> I do bark at people. That's true. I like to, I like to joke. Okay. <laughs> How many friends do you have? You're afraid of the truth. <laughs> <laughs> um... I'd say like, let's go with this. Let's be optimistic. Let's be optimistic around here. Ooh, how do you eat a domestic cat? Ooh, so that bit. Why is this like food in general? Food burns my insides. What? This is a stupid <laughs> test. <laughs> um, <laughs> I used to collect Pokemon cards. What is that? I'm a goose. You are too. Yes. Oh my oh. god, goose buddies. <laughs> I believe in God and follow the scriptures. I'm. I don't know. <laughs> Domesticated dog. <laughs> 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 What did they get? It's a they get? family of carnivorous mammals, commonly referred to as the weasel family. The sprightly <laughs> weasels are pure mischief makers, lighthearted, and will do anything for a laugh. They're also quite shy, and despite their pranks, would never want to hurt anyone. Well, that's untrue. It, oh. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at me! Oh. I, I kind of want to break someone's kneecap sometimes. Okay. Wait, does that mean it's my turn? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of a short presentation, besties. I didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is really important to me, so I like would really appreciate if everyone kind of took this seriously. Like, okay, not doing well. Um, this is about the sociocultural implications of raising your pinky while drinking a beverage, or as I like to call it, bevy. 
that will be referenced multiple times in the presentation. As we can see here already, there's some political implications. Um, Donald Trump literally can't drink a beverage raising his pinky. It's, it's pretty serious. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so it's actually a little known fact, <laughs> but <laughs> um, thirty-two percent of the population is actually born <laughs> without a pinky. Um, sorry, I'm getting kind of emotional. Um, <laughs> I We're stand about to find out. Okay. 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 <laughs> so there's some celebrity trends that we need to notice here, okay? So on the left here, we've got the icon Stephen Fry. If you don't know who that is, you can literally go fuck yourself. We've got Shirley Temple. Again, we got Paul McCartney. If you don't know who that is, you can go fuck yourself. I don't like the Beatles. It's a long story. I won't talk about it right now. Okay, but like Paul McCartney, though. Like, you can hate the Beatles, but like Paul McCartney. Okay, anyways. Um... <laughs> We've got Kim Kardashian. Look at her fucking middle finger. Like, can you see how just fucking... <laughs> Is that Anyways. her middle finger or her thumb? Her this thumb. one right what? here. <laughs> oh, you're talking about... Boom. Come on, Boom. Mm -hmm. Ted Cruz. <laughs> Ted Cruz. <laughs> <laughs> the Zodiac Killer. <laughs> Ted Cruz. Um, he's like... Got a death grip on that Starbucks coffee. Not sponsored. Um, <laughs> and then um, Mike Pence looks like he's like it's too spicy. <laughs> Anyways, let's get a close up on these. Not Michael mm. Pence. Oh, you can see <laughs> correct, incorrect. They do happen to be like British and American. Just like try to like correlation is not even causation type beat. You know, 
I'm British. I'm literally British. I'm James Corden. I'm James Corden. I'm Brit Anyways, okay. So let's get to the facts. Because, like, I don't want to just use emotional arguments. Um, only bitches drink bevy with their pinkies down. You can refer to the previous slide um, if you guys need that for your notes. Um, homophobes are 56.9% more likely to drink with their pinkies down. Um, so, like, that's really kind of saying something. Also, um, Jackson has never drank a water in the gallery with his pinky down. That bitch is always up. Erect. And um, <laughs> Trump physically cannot lift his pinky while drinking, as mentioned in the first slide. So everyone else must show dominance by raising their pinky when they drink a bevy. However, <laughs> there are certain beverages that one may not raise their pinky while drinking. Okay, so we've already covered water. Water is a good one. The bevy has to be up. Classic beverages. I'm talking like wine, perhaps some champagne, some tea. Even some, like, soy milk, if you will. Pinkies up. Whole milk? Don't speak to me if you drink, like, whole milk by the glass. So that's, like, a whole different thing. That's a different presentation. Maybe I'll do my presentation on that next time. <laughs> but anyway, here's some beverages that you absolutely may not raise your pinky while drinking. First of all, it's old people shit. <laughs> so we've got herbal laxative tea here and prune juice. Um, that's just, like, disrespectful, I feel like. Um... Yeah, I feel like, need I say more? Um, second is disrespectful off-brand shit. So we got uh, Kool-Aid Bursts and Capri Sun. Absolutely pinkies up for this. But uh, Sun Shots <laughs> or Squeeze It. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry again. Um, like, this shit is Squeeze so it. disrespectful. Like, look at the eyes. <laughs> I like, shit haunts me at night. Anyways. <laughs> Um, so yeah, like, and also like this is like needs to be applied to like other shit. So like milk, soy milk, pinky up, whole milk. Yes. Oat milk. Yeah, pinky up for that. Okay, Oat milk too. is gay as fuck, yeah. But like for example, like what are you drinking right there? An energy drink. Yeah, okay, pinkies can be up for that for sure. Okay. Yeah, as you were doing it. As you had it. What? Um, yeah, so uh, that finishes my presentation on socio-cultural implications of drink, like raising your pinky while drinking a bevy. Thank you. Yeah. Woo! Incredible. <laughs> 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 my name is Jackson and Joyce Riak. I'm back again. Woo! <laughs> um, thank you. Is it actually Bye how you say your last name? No, I said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, continue. Um, uh, um, and so here's um, my top 15 favorite Pokemon based on a website that told me, so it must be true. Mm -hmm. um, number one is Decidueye. I think number 15. Number 15 is Decidueye. <laughs> that, was, that was the first quiz of several that'll be. Number 15. <laughs> Anyways, um, Decidueye is cool. Ahem! <laughs> Sorry. Did you guys cool because cool archer boy? Mm -hmm. Like it. Boing. Yeah. Um, has neat glasses. All people, <laughs> all people who are neat have glasses, and if you don't, um, and then Sorry, looks like Blathers from Animal yes. Crossing. That's the pre-evolution Rowlet. Uh huh. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so next up, um, we have Dracovish. An abomination. God did not mean for this Pokemon <laughs> to exist, and yet here it is. An absolute abomination, but it's kind of cute. Un poco cuto. Yeah. Um, super derpy. In its Pokedex entry, it's like, it runs really fast on land, but it only can breathe in the water. So it's fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> But it's also really fucking powerful in the games, <laughs> and I love that for it. Um, next up we have Darkrai. Yeah. Yeah, hot. Um, spooky Edgelord XD. Yeah, I was about XD. to say it anyways. Super hot and just spooky. Has a tragic backstory. If you've seen the movie, tugs out the heartstrings. It's really good. Um, and look at those legs! Yeah! yeah! Woo! If I could look like that, I'd yeah. be so happy. Yaddy, 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 yaddy. That. Yeah. <laughs> and then number 12, we have Samurott. Um, the cute little sea puppy. It starts as a cute little sea otter. 
And it goes to a bigger sea otter, and then it becomes a sea lion for some reason. I don't fucking know. Pokemon's weird. Mm -hmm. Um, it has a wicked mustache. Mm -hmm. I wish I could have that facial hair. Mm -hmm. It would be amazing. Um, it also has just some swords. Yeah. Don't we all just want two swords on us at all times? Yeah. Of course. I'm so true. Around yeah. mm -hmm. Number 11 is Typhlosion. <laughs> Looks like he's fucking screaming. <laughs> <laughs> oh! My back's on fire! Get off me, boy! Get off me, boy! Um, I, w I would like to um, cuddle mm. Typhlosion. Um, in the cuddle zone, of course. Not near the pain, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and um, it's just straight up fierce. Look at that. Just mm -hmm. um, Next up is Deoxys. Ooh. Deoxys is pretty cool. It has several different forms that spell out DNAs because um, it's like DNA. So yeah. That's cool. Also, Among Us, <laughs> Sus. Oh, 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 oh. Sussy's bed. Um, has a cool alien backstory. Basically, the people like shot a laser to like destroy like space bacteria, but then like it, it, it hit it and, it and then it turned into this Pokemon. Um, and then um, it makes funny space noises as well. In the movie, it's like. <laughs> I think that's really funny. <laughs> um, next up is Surskit. Um, round of applause for Surskit. Yeah, yeah. Surskit's just. Doing its best. Um, it's just a cute little water bug. Mm -hmm. It's oh, <laughs> beautiful. It's just trying hardest. Um, and it can also walk on water, like mm. another famous person. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, next up is number eight, Toxtricity. He looks hella swagged out. Yeah. yeah like he's a pimp for sure. Yeah. The fucking coolest. Oh. Best Pokemon music. Yeah, it just gets a fucking electric Whoa. guitar. Mm. An electric guitar <laughs> made out of electricity. It has two rad forms, not just one, but two. two. And then also has a unique two. typing and mm. a GMAX form. That's cool. Um, next up is Espeon. Yeah, I can support this. Oh, yeah. Amazing. Um, the best oh. of the evolutions. Mm. Not to be controversial, mm. but in my opinion. <laughs> it looks just very soft. And that. Mm -hmm. Carry on. Yeah. What kind of H2O just had water nonsense with this? <laughs> yeah, this is a cute, like, I don't know, cat or dog or something, but it's cute. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have King Drow. I love King Drow. King Drow's cool. Sea, mm -hmm. cool seahorse dragon. Um, uh, the, it's used by one of my fave trainers, Claire. That's her name. Her name's Claire. She's pretty cool. <laughs> There's um, no energy in this. And then I, fa and then I have fond childhood memories of having Kingdra on my team, wrecking other people, just with Kingdra. Um, next up is Zygarde. Yet again, a monstrosity, but I love it. Um, it's very cryptic. Like, what the fuck am I supposed, like, what is it supposed to be? I don't know, but I think it's cool. Um, it has a neat color scheme. It's like black and then this ungodly neon green. It's iconic. Then it has two other forms, and one of them is a dog. Mm. Why? Um, I don't know. Um, but it's really cool. Um, next up is Xerneas, um, mm. because a gay icon, because <laughs> rainbow. Mm -hmm. um, it has a nifty deer design. <laughs> yes, nifty deer design. Nifty deer design. <laughs> um, and controls all life, so like, wow. watch your fucking back. <laughs> so true. Um, next up is Suicune. I love Suicune. Um, Suicune is the best legendary because of that elegant design. Oh, beautiful. Oh, this is a puppy! <laughs> this is a puppy! And it can walk on water with a certain someone I know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, then number two is Togekiss. I mean, I love America, so of course I had to pick this one. The pretty egg chicken dragon thing, IDK. So it starts as an egg, and then it becomes like a flying thing, and then it becomes a bird, bird, bird thing. Um, and it makes people feel happy when they're around it, and I think that's pretty cool. Just like to be around. Hi, Caleb. What up, homie dog? <laughs> Not that yeah. much. How about you? Feeling like a villain. Epic. Um, <laughs> 
And it's just adorable. <laughs> Yeah, I like his fat little wings. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And my favorite one is Empoleon. Okay, I don't know if um, I can support that. Maybe switch number one and number two. Okay, suck a dick. Um, so this is the first Pokemon I ever had, so I have emotional attachment to it. But no, I'll switch it, it's fine. Um, I like its regal design. It's real nice and fat. Love that. And he's a cutie! He's just, he's just so cute! Um, thank you for watching. Oh, Yeehaw. Yeah. Woo! Okay. Right, you're right. <laughs> Thank you very much.